In this video, I'm going to show you the best run defense in Madden 23. We're going to be able to stop shotgun runs, really any shotgun run uh, in the game. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's only uh, it's free to subscribe. Also, make sure that you check out the Patreon. If you're not a Patreon member yet, that's where you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, including the 4-6 defense, which is the playbook that we're in today. If you want to get access to everything over there, it's only ten dollars. Uh, Patreon super helpful. Over 25 different offensive and defensive eBooks. And uh, like I said, it's only 10 bucks to get it. So if you want to sign up, the link is down in the description. All right, guys, wanted to go over uh, run defense because of the quad father, because of King Henry, right? People are running the ball. How do you stop the run? Um, that question very the answer to that question kind of varies formation to formation. It depends on the blocking scheme. I feel like trips tight end gives us the best um, example of multiple different blocking formulas from shotgun. We'll get into some under center stuff as well in this video. Um, but here's the best way to stop it that I'm aware of. And this has been the best way to stop the run since Madden 20 when the run was overpowered. All right. Nickel three three cub Mike Blitz zero is the is the um, the audible that we want to have and that's already set in your formation coaching adjustments you don't need anything the main thing I would advise is option defense on conservative I do think for the most part probably then eighty to ninety percent of run schemes this should be on conservative all right. All right. The other thing about the stopping the run is you should be blitzing a minimum of four people. Minimum of four people. That's going to stop the RPO stuff. So let me show you what I mean. So if I go to RPO bubble and I max protect and I drop these linebackers in coverage, even if my user's blitzed, you're going to notice that it's going to create kind of these automatic pancakes in the middle of field. So the way the the way around that is is very simple. Just blitz four people. So I'm going to blitz to where the running back is going to run. So I'm going to man that right side guy up on the running back, maybe drop the safety and coverage right. And then now I don't have to blitz my user, but what you're going to see, and I'm going to max protect, and you're going to see here that we're not going to get pancaked and we're going to get those sh those really nice uh, sheds in the run game. Okay. Now, how do you stop uh, how do you stop different style, style of runs? The most basic run in the game is inside zone. So how do you stop inside zone? The best way that I know how to stop inside zone is there's two ways. There's the simple way, and then there is the, the like, I've got to stop the run. What do I do? If you are – you can just stand behind this nose tackle right here and try to shoot it. Um, a lot of times this stops inside zone. As you see right there, uh, this year's game is notorious for getting really nice little disengages on this nose tackle, especially in 3-3 because you have these this tight front um, or mint front, as you can see. So again, if they're running an inside zone, typically you can just literally stop it just like that. I mean, just very simple. Now, if you have to shoot it in the backfield, um, the best way to shoot is to shift your D-line uh, one way or the other and crash them outside and basically hide behind this guard. So in this example here, we're going to try to get that center to go to the, we're going to shift them away from the back. And you should see here, see how I'm able to kind of get in that, in that gap and blow it up potentially. That's the like, I've got to stop the run and I'm preparing for them to run the ball. Um, that's what that is. So if I'm standing about right here and you see that I'm shifting the line, it really helps with run defense this year, as you can see. And you can you you can you can practice different different shifts and different shoots. Like if I stand over here, I'll show you again inside zone. That'll kind of clear up that, and you see now my lane is easy. Okay, so you can kind of again the run game in Madden specifically. A lot of it is about numbers uh, in fronts. So when I when I shift this and crash it out, now what I've done is I've creating created a different front where the center has to go double team this guard and then this guy has to take this guy. So now I have numbers in the front game and you can see I can just run right through and hit stick to run in the backfield, okay? Let's talk about quick base real quick. Another great run, pulling guard style run. Uh, again, similar to inside zone this year. If you just stand like behind this guy and try to shoot in, a lot of times that right there happens. A lot of times that happens. And all you want to do is go, you want to basically go to the opposite side. Um, I like to put my user on a zone. You want to go to the opposite side. So I want to go, I want to go basically to the running back side because my blitzer is going to the right. So I'm going to go to the running back side and you see there, it just kind of creates a wall and it's hard for them to get around it. Again, if you have to stop the run, 
generally speaking, shift toward the running back, crash out, and then you're going to be able to shoot it in the backfield. All right. Now let's talk about counter. Counter is is um, is a counter trap scheme style run, a little bit more like 0-1 trap style. Um, how do you stop this run? Again, you get penetration up the middle of the field. The best way to stop the running Madden 23 is to get penetration up the middle of the field while still protecting the edges. As you can see right here, uh, if I'm standing behind the center, oftentimes I can shoot up in here. But you see how that guard picks me up? That's what happens in a one trap a lot, right? So what do we need to do to stop that? Well, we can go with our first formula, which is to shift uh, toward the running back and basically loop through the middle of the, of the field. And you see there, by and large, we can, that, that's going to be okay. Like, we're okay there. That's solid run defense, right? Um, we can also shift away uh, in a trap scheme and kind of, like I guess, outnumber them on the back side of it. This one, you'll see here, uh, is much worse. As you can see, he's able to pick me up. So the best way to stop any run in Madden um, that I know of, any any run scheme, is to shift toward the running back side so you get an even front, basically. And then what you're able to do here is you're able to basically loop around the pulling guard on either side, if they're pulling right or they're pulling left, uh, to be able to stop the run. Now let's go under center. So under center run game uh, is a little bit different. It's more... Um, it's just more, I think it's more basic, honestly. Um, I think the best runs in Madden 23 are from shotgun. Uh, that's just my opinion. And uh, stretch runs are not good this year, which is interesting because they've been the best run for years. Uh, in this year's game, what you want to do is you want to contain these outside linebackers. As soon as the ball is snapped and you see that it's a run, you want to click your right joystick in and you want to just basically, you'll get these nice sheds in the run game and a lot of times it will stop the run for you. Um, I've not really gone up against somebody this year that really has a great under center run game. Um, you know, I can typically blow up stretch right through the A gap just like that. And then if they, if you, if you can't run stretch, what are you going to run? You're probably going to run power O. Um, just like if you can't run any kind of inside zone, what are you going to run? Well, you're probably going to run, you know, power O or zero one trap. So how do we stop uh, power O schemes? Pretty much the same way. Um, you can do the shift thing, but really... Because you, you see there, see how it picks me up? So the way to stop that is you just want to shift. Uh, so what I like to do is I'm going to shift away from the tight end, crash out, and then if they're running power O, um, you see I can just kind of shoot it from the backside just like that. Okay, So you can mess with shifting your line uh, under center schemes. I think, honestly, most under center schemes are just not good, uh, if, I, if I'm just being straight with you guys. Um, you can shoot it just as is. If they run the the, the halfback lead like the 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 dive, and you're doing this this number right here, that nose tackle just like inside zone is going to do that, and then you can blow up the fullback and oftentimes at least contain it if not stop it for a loss. Okay, so these are some best practices uh, for stopping the run. Again, one of the things that I want to stress: contain if they're under center. A lot of times you can get this shed right there just like that from the linebackers and it just contains the run it's really hard to run under center this year consistently because of the random disengages that you get so anyways that's the best run defense in my mind uh, at least from a basic run defense and can also be a pass defense if you want to get the best absolute most dominant goal line defense in the game it's in the patreon everything that you need uh, is in the patreon 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there. Thanks for watching the video and make sure to go sign up for the Patreon. The link is in the description.